Where are you gonna fish? Yeah. Where the f What's going on? In here? This fish farm is about 6 meters long and 2.4 meters wide. It can transform into a four-story vertical farm. Like so. There can even be up to 4,000 fish in this fish condo. So there are actually two main compartments here. You have the big compartment where you have all the fishes. And then you have the filters that sit underneath the walkway. And the other side is where you have a mechanical filter and the pumping that helps circulate the water. Typically, you find this being grown in the sea cages. In the open sea, you don't know what's coming. If you have a lot of nutrients in the water, when the weather is not suitable, when it gets too hot, too much sunlight, you get an algae bloom. So you're trying to solve for two things here. A controlled environment and an environment that doesn't have any restrictions. You can place this anywhere. Yep. We call this uh, multi-story net house. First, we want to test whether the rice can grow well here, achieve similar yield compared in the field, and also the difference between different layers of the house. We use this tube and a tap to set up the drip irrigation system. It's automatic, and also it's easy for us to apply or manage the fertilizer because we can add the fertilizer into the different Ah, I see. Turns out, these guys aren't just any regular fish. They are genetically improved sea bass bred at St. John's Island. We are about to do something very classical in uh, genetic selection. We're going to identify them. Yeah, we have a transponder inside the fish. This device will help us to, uh, to find the number. This oh, wow. number is the code of the fish. It tells us all the data we've already collected on him in the past. So we can uh, check the growth. Uh, the evolution of this growth and time, the growth of its parents, yep. the growth of the grandparents, and thanks to that we can decide if we select for the next generation or not. On this fish we've improved uh, the growth quite a lot, 70% growth improved and we also increased the fillet yield. I've seen sea bass like this being grown in shipping containers. Are the types of sea bass that you are trying to develop here meant to thrive in that? Yes, totally totally selected for that, and now we end up with a line that is adapted uh, to these systems. Dr. Yin Tsung Chao created this rice through a long process of identifying key genetic markers, and this rice is also more resistant to drought and disease than a regular variety. This season is even better than the first season, and what you see is the yield and product here. Actually, it's comparable to the rice grew in the field. That's great, right? So we, we want to, using this uh, pioneer project, to test whether urban farming for rice is suitable for Singapore. Actually, our result can tell, yes, it, it is. So the egg on top and the egg in the rice is completely made from plants. No, Hard the egg in the rice is normal egg. No, it's 100%. Hey, no, 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 it's normal egg. It's 100% plant made. <laughs>